hi guys hello welcome to my channel <laughs> let's get right into it so i have my steam chalice here isn't it so beautiful i love it you're gonna need some charcoal for sure next the lighter the fire definitely what am i looking for uh that's a herb Alrighty. okay i see you what else of course the water we're gonna need water for sure <laughs> something to sip on as well because you're gonna be thirsty indeed so pretty much i am setting up my steam chalice at the moment so guys now i am loading the kachi that right there is the kachi i'll be putting some herbs into the kachi I'm adding calendula, rosemary, lavender, and definitely marijuana to my kachi. I'm just kind of pushing that all the way down. I like to push it all the way down because, you know, I don't want... you see later on that the kachi goes on top and I want to make sure that um it, it separates you know so i have to push it all the way down to that long part right there to ensure that the fire doesn't burn the herb at all so that's me doing that pushing it all the way down mm -hmm. the lavender and calendula are very small herbs so they sometimes fall out so that was me just sprinkling some of it on the top of it right now i'm adding the gritty I look so focused. <laughs> That's what I love about this process. You have to be intentional about it. You know, you need time and all that, all that effort to actually get the process rolling. But yeah, so I'm adding charcoal now. Looks like I'm trying to break that very big piece smaller you don't want them to be too small but you don't want them to be too large either you know you're just trying to get a nice in between yeah so adding my charcoal to the top of that Alrighty, girl i see you i see you adding more yeah the fire is a the fire is critical people the fire is critical to the process you know it's a very very important part so you never spend a little time on it you understand <laughs> all right so after i'm gonna just put that to the side because i need to add my water yes i like to use spring water I don't know. I just I just like making sure that the whole thing is clean, you know. I want to make sure it's a very clean steam. And I'm adding my bamboo. I'm just going to test that to make sure that I'm not tasting a lot of water. And that was perfect. You don't need a lot, you know. You don't, you don't need a lot of water. You just want to... You don't want too much and you don't want too little, obviously, you know. But you know it's too much when you're like tasting the water for sure. So I wasn't tasting any water there, so that was fine. When I put my kachi to the side, it kind of fell. So this is me re-adding my charcoal. <sighs> so after that, what I'm going to do is get the fire going. I'm obviously outside, so I had to, you know... <laughs> That wasn't working. I remember that not working. So I had to draw for my pillow and kind of create like a safe haven, you know? Yes. To make sure I get the fire going. Because like I was saying earlier, the fire is a very... <laughs> don't get me laugh. The fire is a very critical part of, of the process. So I have to make sure we get it blazing, you know? fire lava lava splash yeah <laughs> still 
still working on like fire kind of sped up this process a little bit because like i said the fire is crucial it's crucial crucial but at this point i'm giving it my nod of approval right so it was coming together nicely at this point definitely okay so so much that i actually decided that it was time time to add my kochi and that's the complete steam chalice all right that is it right there so making sure that is secured and after that i usually just kind of pray before giving thanks for really just everything you know <laughs> truly 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 so after i'm done praying and giving thanks i do my first inhale trying to make sure i'm inhaling from my stomach then into the chest and go a second time <laughs> a whole vibe <laughs> a whole vibe <laughs> hi look at my friend hi friend you see my friend no my green friend you see him <laughs> anyways for real though like i used to be very restrictive and closed off and it doesn't pay <laughs> it pays to explore it pays to indulge in things that are beneficial and i think it's important that we don't abuse this herb don't abuse this tool this tool is beautiful and, and it can give you so many answers don't abuse it respect it and make sure that whenever you come to this tool you have something to offer because it only amplifies what's already inside of you you know so before i steam i have like periods where i just make sure i'm reading i'm learning amazing myself all right cool writing things down to make sure that when i come back to this tool it can ultimately just show me myself and just to show me things deeper you know like you just go deeper with it and that's that and that's what it is and who doesn't want to go deeper fam i want to go deep because yeah well, who wants a shallow hollow life that's not cute let it be said that i lived okay i lived all right i went deep all right explored myself and it was wonderful it was painful it was beautiful it was holy and it was wonderful okay all right